Hey guys, quick vid tonight. I just uh, wanted to share with you that I did receive my Doxa Caribbean, the sub 1200T. This thing is amazing looking. The blue is different than any blue I've ever seen. I know Doxa is known for the orange, but speaking of orange, when I order this, excuse me my ignorance with Doxa, but I'm fairly new to all this. Um, my good friend Chris pointed out that for a short period of time anyway, and they even noted it on the uh, DOXA website, I just didn't pay attention, but they are using, for the Caribbean, they're using this orange print in the outer bezel here, and that's to um, celebrate the 50th anniversary. Typically, it would come with a dark blue print in there, but uh, I'm not sure how long or how many are made this way, but uh, currently they're making them with the orange print in there. I really dig that. I'm glad that's the case. Um, that just makes it so much nicer for me. Um, it is labeled just like uh, many others. You'll see on the back here. Let me see if I can find it. So it says... Uh, Doxa Sub 1200T Caribbean Limited Edition. This is number 136 of 1200. So, and I'll do a, a better in-depth video on this. I'm still reading the, they sent me a book and um, they send you this uh, little packet with a DVD in it. Um, I'm still going over some information. Here it is next to uh, Terry's Sea Rambler. And Terry knows I'm a big fan of orange. And she was jokingly um, stating that I was I still had her Sea Rambler and I was ordering this uh, Caribbean and she knew I, I really liked the orange hand and she kind of put two and two together. She uh, was you know half joking that I was gonna swipe her uh, orange hand and put it in the Caribbean. Um, so I'll be doing that tonight, Terry. So just so you know. Um, but uh, another side note: the tool that um, was shipped with Terry's—I'm not sure the year and everything—was this uh, nice little screwdriver here. And the quality of the screwdriver is actually really good. Um, unfortunately, the new tool, as cool as it is, that Doxa sent me with mine, because it has a spring bar tool. And then you put this part on here and screw this down. And then you have a nice little screwdriver. Um, the second screw I tried to pull out, the tip of the screwdriver uh, was brittle enough that it just broke off. Um, I know how to use screwdrivers. I know how to um, not be rough with them and everything. I can be rough with them if I want to, but I was not being rough with this one. And the tip of the screw bit just broke off. Um, these are replaceable. You can pull that pin right there or uh, unscrew that and that pops out and replaces. But honestly, what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to order um, a nice set of uh, screwdrivers from Bergian, um, or I might even um, contact my uh, buddy Rob over at Rob Labs and um, see if he has some laying around. But this tool that he made, um, you can unscrew, and he uses the different bits here that Bergion sells and you can just thread them right in so uh, I have options I might do something different for a screwdriver or I might get a screwdriver kit something I'm not sure yet um, but cool concept um, and this is a well-built piece of uh, machined out metal here a nice little tool and it's you know it's kind of slick that that's hidden in there but um, I use the spring bar tool way more than I use a screwdriver, so it would have been nice to have, honestly, it would have been nice to have just the designated um, screwdriver, but I understand Doxa's reasoning in, in trying to give you both tools because I know a lot of Doxa uh, fans tend to change out their bracelets and they'll put on um, different NATO straps or uh, different uh, silicone straps or something like that, depending on what they're doing or how they're wearing it. Uh, me personally, there's no way it's coming off this beads of rice. This 
bracelet is part of the um, main reason that I decided to purchase this watch and I'm very pleased with it. I'll give you a shot real quick on my wrist. I did size it real quick. Um, so I'll be looking forward to wearing this guy for a little bit. Very happy with my purchase so far. Let me know what you guys think. That orange on there, isn't that great? Nice zoom in of my uh, arm here there. And then the bezel action. So satisfying with that sawtooth cut. Oh, sorry about that. Bezel, which I didn't notice at first either, but if you look there, the bezel cutouts are actually in a sawtooth pattern for better grip. Meaning that if you can see that, there you go, you can kind of see it. I mean, grip is not an issue with this thing at all. So, again, like I said, I'll do uh, a better video or another video at least, maybe not better, um, showing both these watches and at least the Caribbean. I'm super excited to be exposed to Doc, so thanks to Terry for doing that. And uh, very happy with my recent purchase. So, see you on the next vid, guys.